All right, so I've got my color pour, pre-mixed pouring paint in four different colors, sage, sky, ocean, and <laughs> wave. It's like I said, this uh, script is a little hard to read. And I'm going to do simple pours on the white canvas, and then I'll have the black canvas to see if I can catch any drips because I like to be fairly frugal. So let's put these things up. I'm doing this on a piece of cardboard so that I can keep the deck from getting icky. So we're just going to put... Oh, is there an inner seal? Yep, there's an inner seal. Alright, so we're going to see if I can get the inner seal off. This is why some people wear gloves. Alright. We did shake these guys all up beforehand. Sky. Oh. Inner seal. This is ocean. And this is the wave. into like darker colors so I'm gonna put lots of this wave around. <laughs> I'm already making a mess here. Right, so let's see. You see it does run. Alright so I'm gonna put that underneath and then I will just sit here for a while slowly tilting luckily it's a nice summer day got the birds singing got downy woodpeckers got chickadees and titmice might be able to hear our neighbors' roosters in the background. See how that's flowing down toward the edge. Now the nice thing about getting a premix set, especially if you're new to art, is that they will hopefully choose colors that work well together. You know, the downside of course is that you only have these particular colors to work with. I chose a set of colors that I like a lot, so and you can see sort of cool the little dots that it's forming on here. Alright, so let me see if I can get this side of it. I think I'll need to get some more paint over in this particular section. Make sure I get all the edges of the canvas. If you're 
doing art that's not going to be framed, in general you want to have all the sides of the canvas covered and not open. So pay attention to some of the Still got some edge there to get covered. All right, I think I'll go this way now. So that'll hopefully get the rest of that edge filled in while also getting this section stretched out. You don't want to end up with the paint being too thick because then it might have a tendency to crack. So you want to get it down to a reasonably thin level when you are finished with all of this twisting and turning and so on. So you can see here that the empty spot there is closing up now, which was one of my goals. I'll try to get this last little corner in here filled in. That's almost there. Alright, so that corner is set. Still got some edge pieces here that need to fill in. <laughs> Give it a little squish. Alright, so I got all the edges, and now if I just hold it for a second or two, it'll fill itself in. Alright, let's go this way. Darker blue. Get that started. That way for a while. Moment to smooth out. So just let that hold there for a second. You see that as it's getting thinner, it's moving more slowly. So while it is still migrating its way down, and there's still a line of paint there that you should be able to see, it's going a little more slowly now. There we go. Starting to get there. 
That's a cat bird. <laughs> a chance to get down across that bottom area. Well, there's all sorts of techniques you could use to speed this up with them. Hair dryers and combs and other things. I tend to like the slow patient way. Start it in this direction. Now we're running out of places to hold it, so I need to just put my hand on the inside. A little more paint along here. A little more paint along there. Starting help. Just a bit. Do this thing. challenge of holding these things. So now part of the challenge is you don't want to put it down flat onto something because the edges of this are still wet with paint and that would end up getting stuck to whatever you put it down on. So you, whoops, got some uh, edges on this side that did not go on. So what you want to do is put it onto like a set of four plastic cups or something so that they support the canvas. Hold on, my foot's cramping. <laughs> so that they support the canvas from underneath and don't let any of this touch the surface while this is drying, which can take uh, up to 48 hours. So I still want that to slide a little more down. It looks like it's slowing on its descent. So what I'm going to do is put this over on their cups. 